Hi, I'm Andy Glass with Glass Depressions. Recently I picked up this workbench at a local buy sell trade website and I brought it in, tucked it against this wall underneath some shelving, some clamps, sandpaper and tape storage. Now the previous owner was a little bit lower than me so I added some riser blocks to get it up to my preferred height. Now when I need to use the workbench I have to scoot it away from the wall, I can use it and then scoot it back. Now this isn't the best way to do it but today I have a better solution. I'm going to introduce to you Rockler Woodworking Hardware's Workbench Caster Set. The idea behind this is a simple press of the foot raises your workbench three quarters of an inch off the ground and rides on these two and three eighths inch wheels that are easy to move around and then you just simply raise it up and it drops the workbench exactly where you need it. In addition to that, Rockler has these quick release workbench caster plates. So the idea behind that is you need one caster set and multiple caster plates. And you can pull them off your workbench, go put them on a drill press table, move the drill press around, bring them back by simply lifting this pin, sliding the casters in, and securing the caster in place on the plate by putting the pin back. So let me bring you in for a closer look. I'll show you its features, and I'll show you how we install it both with and without the plate. Stick around. Hope you enjoy. The Workbench Caster Kit 4-Pack comes with four easy spin 2 and 3 8 inch urethane casters, four foot activated lift mechanisms that are constructed of steel and have a matte black finish, and the necessary hardware to attach them to your bench. The bottom caster hole needs to be 2 inches from the bottom and the quick release plate needs to be 2.5 inches from the bottom. I cut two guide pieces to speed up the marking process. I mark the center of the workbench leg and then pre-drill for the mounting screws. I place the bottom screw in by hand and then use an impact driver to bring it home. A drill would work just as well. After marking the top hole, I rotate the caster and pre-drill for the second screw. I rotate the caster back into position and drive in the second screw. Next, I grab the caster itself, lock washer, and a nut to secure it to the lifting mechanism. I tighten by hand and then secure with a socket set. Now that we have the casters directly attached to our workbench, we can raise and lower the workbench with a simple tap or raise of our foot. Let me show you how it works. I can easily move my workbench with one hand, use it. The quick release workbench caster plate 4 pack come with 4 quick release plates, mounting hardware, and instructions. Since I will be installing a bunch of these, I decided to make a quick template to use with my punch using the cardboard from the box it came in. To install the quick release plates on a solid leg, I repeat the same process with the exception of using the 2.5 inch spacer to establish the bottom hole position and using a larger pilot hole to accommodate the large machine screws that come with the plates. Make sure the pilot hole is a bit smaller than the machine screw so it can establish a good hold in the wood. When secured, simply take the lifting mechanism and slide it in place, using the locking pin to keep it from sliding back out. The quick release plates come with hardware for a 3 quarter inch thick panel. If thicker material is used, longer machine screws may be required. I install them on the planer stand the same way with the exception of drilling completely through the panel and using the included washers and lock nut to secure the plate in position.
As you can see, the workbench caster set had no problem lifting my heavy workbench. Now in a set of four, they can lift 400 pounds, so even the heaviest tools are not a problem. I especially like the quick release workbench caster plates as I can use the casters from my workbench to another tool like I showed you on my planer stand. It's a perfect solution for a small shop that doesn't want to invest a whole bunch of money in mobile stands for each individual tool. If you guys enjoyed this video, please smash the like button, share, and if you haven't already, please subscribe. If you'd like to know more information on glass impressions, I encourage you to visit my website, andyglassimpressions.com, or search me on YouTube, Glass Impressions, as I frequently release woodworking and CNC content. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.